Will the future black and white Pokemon games be connected to Paldea region or the Scarlet and Violet games? This is a question I've been thinking of for the last few weeks now, as more and more hype builds up about black and white remakes or black and white 3 or a Legends black and white game, whatever the next Generation 5 game will be. I really hope we're going to get an announcement about something Generation 5 related in February, just in a few weeks, and I think it's inevitable. Recently, the Pokemon Company has posted two things on their Instagram in the same day about Zekrom, Rushram, and Kiram, just randomly, like out of nowhere. You may think this is just because they recently added them to Scarlet and Violet, but that was that was a while ago. That was already like almost two months ago at this point. And why would they just randomly post about Kiram, Reshiram, and Zekrom just randomly? You know what I'm saying? Like, why not include every single legendary Pokemon that was recently added into the Scarlet and Violet games with the DLC? So I feel like that definitely is a little hint because the captions are pretty vague and I don't know. I just, I really do believe that the Pokemon Company, Game Freak and everybody, I feel like they're hinting out Gen 5 games coming out soon. And following the timeline order of Pokemon games, Generation 5 remakes are next in line. I personally don't think we're getting remakes yet though. And the reason why is because Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl came out in 2021, which was only a few years ago. And... The last remake before Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, that was that was a pretty big gap of time, and I don't think that three years is enough for another remake. I also kind of feel like Game Freak is changing their release schedule a bit. They're being not as predictable as they have been in the last few years, which is a good thing. So, I mean, I'm always down for a remake. I would love a remake. And if they did do a remake, obviously remakes need to be a little bit different. They need to add some additional content or just some new features just to make it different and not a one-to-one -one replica of the original games, which the original games are great, but it's a remake, so we need something new. I was thinking, what if they added some post-game content, similarly to how they added the Delta episode in the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire games? Like, what if they added an additional storyline at the end of the game, post-game, that has characters from Paldea region, from Scarlet and Violet? Like, imagine we get some type of uh, battle between... Meridon or Coridon or something, or maybe the mythical Pokemon that just was announced, Picharoot, or possibly whatever the mythical Pokemon that is rumored to be announced soon. There probably might just be one mythical, but a lot of people think there's going to be another mythical announced soon, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about. I think that would be cool to connect the remakes to Scarlet and Violet, or just have whatever the next Generation 5 based game is be connected to the Paldea region because there are so many connections and hints within Scarlet and Violet that really make me believe that. And I think this is an awesome thing, and I know I'm not the only one that's talking about that. Like, I'm not trying to take credit for being the person that solved this. It's obvious. A lot of people have been talking about it for weeks or even months now. But if you don't already know, the Blueberry Academy, which is part two of the DLC from Scarlet and Violet, is located in Generation 5. It's a school, basically, that is in Unova region, but it's in the Scarlet and Violet game. So it's like in the water. Everyone knows this, but they recently added all like the starter Pokemon from every single region and generation into this game. It's, it's awesome. They added a lot of legendaries as well. But I feel like this has got to be a hint. And there are some characters in the um, Indigo Disc um, DLC that actually kind of have connections to Generation 5 characters as well. So, I mean, I feel like this has to be a hint. Scarlet and Violet also has a huge future past, you know, time travel theme, which is also shared with Opelucid City from Black and White, which I've, I've always wondered if I pronounce Opelucid correctly. I'm honestly not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I've never known. You know, we have the Paradox Pokemon within Scarlet and Violet, which are like past or, you know, future variant Pokemon that are a little different, but also reminiscent of Pokemon that we already have. And that kind of connects to Gen 5 with the past and future theme, which I think is really cool. And I think if they were to release like a Black and White 3 or a Black and White remake or a Legends game or a Paradox game, it's probably gonna, there's probably gonna be some more Paradox Pokemon if I had to assume. Well, I guess I shouldn't assume anything, but I would hope there would be some more Paradox Pokemon. The black and white starters obviously included with every single region generation of Pokemon were added into Scarlet and Violet through the Blueberry Academy. 
Which a lot of people think that this is a hint that Gen 5 is coming back, but then again, it's just like they added every single starter Pokemon, so I don't know if that directly correlates with a black and white game being connected to Scarlet and Violet. It is still super cool, but a huge, a huge thing that may actually be a connection is Archaludon's design. So this is an evolution of Duraludon, a brand new evolution of a previous existing Pokemon, and it's a bridge. What does a bridge remind you of in any Pokemon game? Black and white. Pokemon black and white. Since the first time we got a teaser of Archaludon, instantly people are like, is this connected to black and white? That really, really looks like it, you know, could be connection. It could be connection to the Sky Arrow Bridge. I, I'm, you know, I personally really believe that this is a connection. This has to be a connection. Why else would they make a bridge Pokemon in the Indigo Disc Blueberry Academy based in Unova region? I don't know. That just seems like too too obvious, too blatantly obvious. Something else that's super cool is Drayton is related to Drayden. I'm pretty sure this is confirmed, like 99% sure that's confirmed, which is a member of the Blueberry Academy's Elite Four. He's a pretty big character, I guess, within the Indigo Disc. At first glance, they obviously have really similar names. They even look similar. They have white hair. And I'm pretty sure they even have like the same, like a similar pose as well, like where they're sticking out their arm and just kind of standing there. So that's pretty blatantly obvious right there. Crispin also might be related to Alder. He looks so similar. Like it's, it has to be true. Even like their hair shape is kind of spiky. It's super similar. People also think that Lacey is related to Clay, which is another member of the Elite Four. This one, may be true, may not be true. Most specifically is that her hair clips are are uh, green, which resembles the green gem that Clay's hat has, and thick eyebrows and everything. That would be really cool. So it seems like pretty much all the Elite Four is pretty much connected to somebody from black and white in one way or another. I just think it'd be so awesome if the future black and white Generation 5 game, like I said, I don't know what the next game would be for Generation 5. I would love a remake, but I'd also just love a Legends game. I made a video about like a Paradox game where it's you, they take, where it takes place like in the future and all this and that. I think that would be really cool. But just imagine if a future Generation 5 Pokemon game had just straight up connections or links to the Paldea region. Like maybe you could go to the Blueberry Academy in the future game, or you could just go to Paldea or something. I think that would be super, super cool. It looks like we're getting an announcement of a Pokemon game in Pokemon Day of this year, which is February 27th. I made a video about predictions that I have of the new Pokemon Presents or Pokemon Day announcement. I just really hope we get a black and white game. The other huge rumor is like a Johto game going back to Gen 2. That would be pretty neat as well. I'm down for whatever. Like I've always said, like I just, I just would like anything. I don't really care. I'm not too picky. But Generation 5 is an awesome generation, so I would absolutely love a connection to Scarlet and Violet. Scarlet and Violet were amazing games, even though they were extremely glitchy, laggy, they had their bugs. The gameplay of it was just so addicting, so fun, and I would love an open world style in a Generation 5 game. Like I said though, I feel like we're gonna get remakes in the future? I don't know, I really don't think we're getting remakes yet, but then it would make sense because I also feel like they wouldn't do like a Legends black and white game or Legends Generation 5 game and then do remakes like two years later. They usually like to space out their, the times they go back to specific generations. I don't know. There's a whole lot to it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.